Hello, today we are going to be going through our central fabrication uh, on-demand order form. Um, it's uh, all online, uh, so hopefully you've, you've followed the link to the form um, and we're ready to just start filling it out. Um, the first thing we need to do is select a job type. Um, for this one we're just going to go with AFO. Um, the form auto populates as we go through, um, depending on the job type we select here. Um, another thing to note is if we uh, have a bilateral uh, job to do um, for AFO, KFO or prosthetic, um, we can select that option um, later on, um, just create one job at this point. Um, similarly with the foam carvings, just create one job and you can upload as many as you want um, at the end of that form as well. So as I said, we'll go with AFO um, uh, and it'll give us a good idea of I guess, how, how the form functions. First thing we do is the company email, we'll just use mine. Uh, and another thing to note is anything there's a, a red, a red asterisk next to is a required field. Um, if we don't fill it in, it uh, gives us a little warning like that. This field is required uh, and you also can't progress uh, through the form. Contact name is me. Um, it's optional, but I would always recommend putting in a phone number. Um, it just gives us the ability to contact you if there, uh, if there's any clarification needed or anything like that. Um, gets things done quickly. Um, we also need to put in a facility. For us, obviously, I'm going to do Masson's. Um, we have an ideal delivery date option as well. Um, we, char we charge extra for um, uh, rush jobs. Um, but generally our lead time is uh, 10 business days. Uh, for foam carvings, it's overnight, um, but we do a same day service on that as well. Uh, for this one, we'll just go 10 days. Um, order number, if you use them, put it in. It'll help us identify it if it comes in separately from this form. Um, another important one is the patient identifier, particularly if you've got multiple jobs with us. Um, it, it allows us to obviously contact you and identify which patient we're talking about. So we'll just go test. Another important one is age, weight, and height. So we'll just make him 73. Male, 167 centimeters, and 87 kilograms, why not? Um, we can also put in an activity level. Um, I would always recommend um, at least filling it out, it is optional, um, but it gives us an idea, uh, gives, starts to give us a bit of a picture of your, of your patient, um, and if there's any recommendations we, we can make about uh, layups or, or design or anything like that, if, if required. Then we press next, and we move on to the AFO form itself. Um, so we need to fill out uh, what type of AFO we want to begin with, so we can do a check uh, or test AFO, uh, they're made out of a clear PET-G. Um, we can go definitive, so uh, it's either plastic or laminated or, or both. Um, if you are doing a laminated, um, particularly AFO or KFO, uh, we would recommend getting a, a test um, check AFO done first. Um, they're relatively cheap uh, and can uh, save a lot of uh, time in the final fitting as well. Uh, for this one, we'll just go definitive. And our form start to auto-populate as we go. So, uh, we need to specify our side. That's what I was talking about. We have bilateral here. We'll just go left for this guy. Um, obviously, material. Uh, we can select uh, either polypropylene, copolymer, polyethylene, laminated, or ortholin. Um, and there's an other option as well. So if there's a, um, another product or layout that you want. Um, yeah, we can source most things, um, or we can you can send it to us, and we can make it with it. Um, Fairly, fairly um, uh, normal sort of material range there that we have, um, and everything's kept in stock. So we'll go with polypropylene for this guy, and it's asking us a follow-up question as well, so it wants us to specify thickness and or colour. Um, all of our polypropylene's white, so we'll assume it just means thickness, so we we'll go three millimetres. Probably more realistically four, but no, we'll sit and stick with three. Uh, there's also the option of transfer paper as well. So um, uh, Masson's has over a hundred uh, transfer papers in stock. 
Um, if you have uh, any queries about our transfer paper, uh, follow the, the contact uh, links uh, below this video um, and we can send you out a, a digital uh, catalogue of all our transfer papers. Um, but yeah, quite a lot in stock and um, yeah, quite, quite, there's a lot of interesting ones out there. There are, there are um, a good range. Cool. Well, the next step is lining. Uh, for this guy, I'm just going to go nice basic EVA, but we have other options as well. So we have dry feet, which is an artificial uh, wicking leather. It's quite nice. We use it a lot in our foot orthotics. Um, leather, just regular leather. Um, alpha gel, which is um, a, it's like a TPE gel with fabric on both sides. It's very good for, for high risk feet and um, uh, bony prominences and things like that. Uh, Plastazote, obviously a closed cell foam, um, or we can do a custom foot orthotic as well. And obviously other as well. Um, these other um, text boxes, uh, you can type as much as you want into them. They are small, but they will uh, extend in size as you go. Speci we need to specify our lining thickness and color. So we'll go two millimeters and um, black. Uh, we can select a general sort of lining area that we want. Uh, we'll go with calf for this one. Um, as we move down the form, there's also the option to draw this in. Um, you can also upload photographs uh, and if your own drawings if you find that easier to do as well. Um, Massens is a distributor and manufacturer for Furon Gents um, ankle and knee joints. Um, Furon Gents joints are, are really nice German made joint. Um, they also have this really good uh, orthosis configurator. So we follow this link here, it'll take you to their website uh, where you fill in all the details uh, of your patient, um, their activity levels, their strength and that kind of stuff. Um, and at the end you get some recommendations on uh, which um, Furin Gents joints to use uh, and laminations and things like that. Um, you can print that out or save it as a PDF. Um, and we would like you to attach that PDF to, to this form. Uh, we can go off that and, and order the order the joints in. Um, and obviously keep a copy of your records as well. Um, for this guy, we'll just go something simple. We'll go for a, just a large tamarack. Uh, we keep all the tamaracks in stock. Um, we move down to straps. Uh, we can go uh, with some of our PVC straps uh, by Limtex. Uh, we keep black, white, uh, and carbon in stock, uh, but we can get some of their more colorful patterns in uh, fairly quickly as well. The lead time's quite short. Um, they're a very nice strap. Um, once again, you can get in contact with us and we can send out a digital catalog of, of their more colorful straps. Um, we are also the distributor for Click Medical um, uh, BOA systems. Um, and so obviously we have all the quick fit straps in stock as well. We'll go for a quick fit for this guy. Uh, and we can select which side we want it on. So we'll go just medium. Cool. Uh, there's also the option for posterior stops. Uh, we'll go just an adjustable one. Um, we keep all of these in stock. Uh, you know, it's just select none um, and a, a stop angle as well. You just specify that in the notes. Um, we have uh, PDEs as well. So we are a, um, uh, a certified uh, PDE manufacturer. Um, we can get them in uh, for you if you can if you specify the um, uh, size and category, um, or we can you can send them in and provide them to us as well. Um, this is the um, section of the form that we can draw on. Um, it automatically defaults to the pen. We can change the line weight if we want to. And draw on our trim lines. Um, we can change the color. If we want to say stop the lining here. Um, we can add text. So if we want to add some measurements, we can. So we'll go say. 50 centimeters. Um, and you can erase and go back as well. So there's an erase button and there's also a clear as well. So if you want to clear all of the, the stuff you've done, you press that button there. Um, now one, I guess one of the more important sections, <coughs> excuse me, is the notes. Um, put in as much detail as you can. 
Um, the more detail, the better. Um, it helps us um, create um, a device that uh, is um, the best for you uh, and uh, reduces the amount of problems we have uh, during manufacturing and questions we have to ask. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. So the next section is uh, the different types of um, um, patient data input we can take. Um, pretty much anything really. Uh, we have the modified uh, scan file, which you can attach to this form, um, and modified positive plaster cast, which you can ship to us. Um, please pack them well. Uh, we have unmodified 3D scan file, uh, so we can modify them for you in the notes, um, put in any um, uh, any um, corrections that you want made. Um, similarly with the unmodified uh, negative plaster cast and unmodified fiberglass cast. Uh, just pop it in the notes, any sort of corrections you need. Um, this last bit here is the browse file, so you can um, upload any um, uh, any JPEGs, um, Word documents, PDFs, um, most file types, um, any photographs you have of old um, uh, or previous um, uh, devices of your patient, um, scans of photo, uh, scans of um, diagrams that you want. As, as I keep saying, as much information as possible uh, is always always appreciated. Now we'll just go to next. Cool. Uh, our next stage is to preview the answer. And this gives us, um, um, I guess, our filled out form to, to check. Um, at the bottom, we can either go back or we can print it out if we're happy with it. Um, save a copy for your own um, uh, records if you want to. Uh, the, after that, we just press submit. And that gets uploaded directly to um, our uh, our job um, job queue. Uh, you will receive a, uh, a confirmation email, uh, and uh, from there uh, we'll obviously contact you if you have any questions. Otherwise, um, in ten business days, we'll ship out your device, and uh, it'll be all good. Excellent. Well, uh, thanks a lot for your time, and uh, any questions, uh, please get in contact with us.